Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. And today we are going to make spinner baits. I'm going to make some ultra spinner jigs from Do It Molds. Uh, we are going to do the, this, this one offers the quarter ounce, three eighths and a half ounce. And we are going to do two of the three. We're gonna do the three eighths and a half. So let's get into this, check this out, and I'll give you a couple little tips and tricks. Okay, so here's the mold. It is a model SJU-3-SA. Again, it's a do-it mold and it is a spinner bait mold. So we are going to make some spinner baits. Three eighths is in the middle. The bigger one on the other side over there is a half ounce. We're gonna do both of those. Uh, I don't really get too much call for quarter ounce. I can make them and they're a smaller wire size. This mold takes two different wire sizes. The wire size we're gonna be using today is I believe it's a 0 .040 wire size. And you can get these, you can get these harnesses from, or they're, they're called wire forms. You can get these from Do-It Molds or Barlow's. Uh, I, get, I get most of my stuff from Barlow's Tackle. And by the way, I do, I am part of the affiliate program for Barlow's. So if you use my uh, bait and tackle code in the end in the coupon code, so B8N tackle, no space, all one, one word, use that in the coupon code. It actually supports the program, gives me uh, five, like a 5% 5 kickback. So I get some kind of, uh, I, I, get, I get to be able to pick out some different products that I can show you guys and we can kind of put them on the channel and, and kind of, um, uh, what's, the, what's the right word, showcase them is, is really what I'm trying to get at here. So, so let's, uh, let's continue on this venture. So again, the .040 um, wire form, and we also are going to be using some spinnerbait hooks. Now these are just a, sh a straight shank hook. Uh, I believe the ones I'm using on this video are a VMC style hook. And again, these are from Barlow's. So this is a VMC hook. It's a 7250 NI nickel, and it is uh, part number 500615. These are four aught. This mold will accept, it will accept a two aught, three aught, four aught, and five aught hook if you want to. Today we're gonna be using four aught. So for both sizes, I'm just gonna go ahead and use four aught for both sizes. So the first thing you really wanna do in any one of these lead molds is, again, I'm gonna go back to this from another video. This Frankfurt Arsenal dropout is the stuff to get for doing lead molds. You want to spray a light coating on the cavities that you want, especially those little nuisance areas that don't fill in, okay? You wanna get that. I already hit this one, so I'm not gonna hit it again. The second thing we're gonna do is, these are a little sloppy. So if you put a wire form in with a hook and you try to set it in the mold, it's damn near impossible to close the mold and get everything lined up the way you want it to. So what I do is I put the hook where the hook eye is gonna be in the fattest part of the body. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get you a little closer here. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna show you, you put the hook in the cavity where it's supposed to go, but put the hook eye up in the middle of the body. Then that way it's, it's right where you want it to be. You want it to be in the fat part of the lead. Then that way it stays where you want it to stay. Then take yourself some blue tape, some blue painter's tape, and tape that sucker right into place. That will keep it centered, it keeps it right there, perfect for what you want to do. Then you can take your wire form and you can put it through the hole, put it in the, in the thing you want to, and then you can close up the mold and the hook will stay right where you want it to. Now, you cannot do more than one at a time, unfortunately, with the way this mold is set up. You can only pour one at a time because when you get your 
nozzle in there from your lead pot, it's going to bend that wire to the side a little bit. And that's okay because you can bend it back. But the problem is, is you can't get over these pins because you got the wire in the way. So let's go ahead and I'm going to set this up. I'm actually going to set this on top of the lead pot to get hot and heat up because heat is definitely everything when it comes to lead pouring. So I'm going to let that heat up for a few seconds here or maybe even a minute and then we'll go ahead and pour it. All right, this should be heated up nice and warm. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get, get the camera so it's at a good angle here for you guys. But this should be nice and heated up. You can, you can do a touch test. If it's, if it's warm to the touch, you're probably ready to go. So got it in there, got the wire there. I'm gonna move my drip cup. I'm gonna go ahead and get this underneath. There's a little bit of, little bit of bleed off there. I'm just gonna wipe off. Now you can't, you, you can't get super close so you're gonna to have to work with it to try to get it the best angle you can. That's as close as I can get it. So I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it as close as I can. I can't get the tip down in there, but I got it real close. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up. Okay. Now, if you have issues with it not filling correctly, you're gonna to have to apply more heat because I have noticed that. Now I can't get the nozzle on this lead pot in there because of how it's set up because that wire harness is right in that way so we have to just be careful with what we're doing now this kind of twisted out of place here on me so all you got to do is just twist it back make it straight with the mold before you take it out then that way your wire harness is right in line with it okay that's what you want to do so let's see if we got this one to pour correctly Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta do it a few times to get it right. So, it filled in pretty good. There's one spot here where it missed, again, in those little trouble areas, and it's down in the bottom there. It's down where the, where the collar is for doing the skirt. So that didn't fill in correctly. So we're just gonna have to try that one again, unfortunately. So there is a way to um, I can di you can dip those again. So the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this again with some more some more dropout. I'm going to get that get that spot in that tail real good on both sides. Don't forget, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this mold up again. But this time I'm going to take my hook. I'm going to set it in place. I'm going to tape it in place. But what I'm going to also do is I'm also going to get my torch, my blow torch for um, doing plastics. And I'm going to go ahead and use this to heat that up, heat that up really good. And you just be careful of the tape. It's going to catch on fire if you don't. But we, I'm going to heat that hook up really good so it's nice and hot. That's what the trouble is, is, is it's the lead's not getting around the hook because it's hit, hitting the hook and the hook's cold and it's cooling down too quick. So what I'm gonna do is just heat up, especially that spot in the cavity, just where that, just where the collar is. And you don't wanna heat, heat you don't wanna heat up the, uh, the hook too much. It'll start changing color on you. I think I just did it a little bit. But again, I'm just gonna heat it up real nice and hot. Okay, and this is gonna be in, in lead anyway, so I'm not really too worried about it. I'm gonna put my wire form in and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it again. I'm gonna do this one off camera. You guys can just chill for a second while I get this one filled up. Okay, let's see if this one came out any better. Doesn't take long to do these, like I said. Oh, before I take it out, make sure my wire's bent into place where it needs to be, nice and straight. Yep, good to go. Now we can take it out. Guess what, guys? Little tips and tricks pay off. Cause now that collar is completely perfect. See it? That's what we're looking for. You wanna make sure you do that every time. So it might be good to get into that habit of heating that up with a blowtorch, heating it up on the, on the top of the lead pot for a little bit longer. Definitely using dropout, it helps tremendously especially if you're having issues. I've had a lot of issues when I first started getting into lead making. So, um, I did the one. We're gonna go ahead 
And I did a second one, so I showed you how it can get screwed up and I showed you how that we can correct it. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera do a bunch more of these and show you how much more we got. I'm gonna make up a bunch. Uh, I got a buddy of mine who wants some spinner baits, so I'm gonna make up a whole bunch of these. So I'm gonna do that off camera. We'll come back and I will show you what we put together. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Um, I, as promised, I just wanted to show you what we what we did off camera. We, we made five of each size. So I made five three-eighths right here. And I made five of the, oh, I'm sorry. That was the one half. <laughs> this is the three-eighths, five of the three-eighths. So I had a little little trouble with the three eighths with it filling in around the tail sections a little bit or the collar where you'd actually put the collar for the skirt. So I really had to heat that up, really concentrate on that and had to use dropout quite a few times just to get it to, to fill in correctly. But um, but not too bad. Another, another tip, just if you do these, make sure you get somehow get the tip of that um, lead pot right above this horizontally and down in there as far as you can to get that lead to go down as far as you can as quick as you can so it doesn't cool off and doesn't create those holes anyway thank you guys so much for watching um, i hope you guys like these videos the lead products videos i really enjoy kind of making these once in a while probably do some painting videos at some point here soon but um, thank you guys again so much please like comment share and subscribe and as always remember Keep on baiting.